So hello and welcome back to Firmbus Coach Simulator. It's been a long time I know, but just looking back at the amount of people watching this series, I thought, why not? I'm not going to let you down. I really want to continue doing this and I'm going to try and make it more of a regular thing on a Friday now. So Friday Firmbus, as I said before. So uh, as you can see here, they've added this since the last time I played, so the leaderboard. Uh, I'm 2,852 nd in the world, but um, let's go and start the game. So there has been quite a few updates, I believe, uh, since I last played, but let's go career. So I've set up a, um, a little drive here, going from Cologne up to Paderborn. Paderborn. Don't know how to say it, but Paderborn. Um, it is. Hang on, let's go back a second. Back. It usually says down here the distance. Um, original. I believe they've added this. These are like proper routes. Um, see if there's any going from Cologne. Oh, there's one here. So that's a proper route. Uh, but career. This is what I've set up. So let's go next. Uh, the coach, uh, let's go for, um, let's go for the bigger coach, so you should be watching this on the 28th, if you're watching it when it comes out, and it comes out at 5, which will be 6 o'clock in, um, in, uh, Germany, let's go with, let's go with a bit of rain, why not, and then let's go realistic, so let's start. Right, first of all, one thing that I haven't improved is the loading times. I must have been sitting there for almost three or four minutes. That was awful, but it looks like it's raining in Cologne, so we've got to get bored quick and get wet. Don't want to get my green jumper wet. That'd be awful if that happened. But we're at the depot, so let's press C to start that. Now, I have got the display up this time. I usually don't run with it on. Um, but I have this time because it gives us the hour of speed down the bottom and this sat nav down here, this one, is uh, usually quite small so let's turn the ignition on so cool if you can move the wheel down, I don't feel like it's in the right place let's turn the lights on, there's, there we go foot on the brake and start this thing up so if we press uh, this button here, let's turn the Wi-Fi on, let's turn uh, these ones on reading lights, cabin lights, and everything. Now so we'll sort out. Turn that light on. Turn the aircon on. We'll sort out the aircon when we get nearer the um, near the place. We can turn windows fully up. I don't want to get wet. Uh, no, we don't need that. Um, there we go. I think good to go. Uh, let's turn that on so I believe that turns the rear wheel steering on. Axle raising lowering, not too sure what that does, not too sure what that is uh, but other than that I think we're okay if we just um, reset that, let's turn the wipers on, move the mouse out of the way, put it into drive and uh, yeah let's, let's get going. Right, I don't know where I don't know why the map's doing that weird thing. I don't know if you can see that at the bottom right. I can't see. Apparently I'm driving on nothing. <laughs> Great. But yeah, the graphics on this game, they are they're awesome. They really, really are. The Unreal Engine. I'm still waiting on the track I asked for, obviously. Uh, but they are working on that, definitely, they said. In the sort of dev diaries and stuff, but I need to start watching their dev diary because um, it comes on their uh, Steam page um, when you select in your library about the recent news. So I'm going to start watching that. I'm halfway through watching uh, Squirrels um, sort of stream with them where the developer and the publisher came on to the stream halfway an hour and a half through the three hour stream that he uploaded to YouTube I'm just so behind on his YouTube videos so I've got a, I've got at least 15 that I need to catch up on I'm so behind I hate to uh, but his videos are so long and I've been so busy recently I haven't been able to catch up my challenge was 
try and catch. Oh, I hate this. When you get too close, so don't move at all. Um, my aim by the end of the uh, half term was to catch up on all these videos and obviously get all my homework done. But oh, I missed my button. My button that slows the wiper speed down also lowers the suspension. Didn't notice that before. <laughs> I was thinking, why is the suspension low? I thought that <laughs> turned the wipers off, but yeah. Um, halfway through that, uh, we'll talk about um, what they said in later in the video, but first of all, we've got to get through this Cologne traffic. It's just mad. I mean, there's so much of it. But it's not bad FPS, really. It's still early days for this guy, what's this guy doing? I hate this. As I said, when you get too close, the AI just doesn't move, he doesn't know what to do. Um, but yeah, it is very, well, still very early days for this game. They said that, they admit that. Right, can we get in this lane and be cheeky? No. Bad idea, bad idea. I'm being that guy now, aren't I? Come on, make these lights go quicker. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Yes, made it. Uh, but yeah, it's still very early uh, days of this game, and I think it's great. I really do. The amount of detail they've got in it so far. Uh, and now force feedback has been enabled, as you just heard. Uh, it's still not great, I can still do that, like with my finger and everything. It should be this loose, um, but it's a start, really is, but Cologne is such a big city uh, on this game. I mean, we've still got 25 kilometers to go. So here we are, coming over the bridge, look at the uh, cathedral over there, it does look cool when the lights are on it, I mean just look at the graphics, I mean it's quite low res but from a distance it looks pretty good for a coach simulator, it really is nice but we are getting closer here, We've got all the traffic getting here, it is, takes so long to get through Cologne I've noticed, so I was just doing um, some drives around Cologne checking everything was okay with my um, sort of audio levels and stuff earlier on. It just surprised me how long it was going to take. I was thinking I'm going to have to do some cuts, like just then I had to cut a bit out. So all these traffic lights take so long when you've got the um, when you've got lots of traffic on. I believe I have got a full uh, traffic on in the settings. But yeah, it just takes an age to get through. Oh, I'm going to stay in this lane. This lane you can go straight on. And the thing I've noticed is that the sat nav thinks if the lane turns off at any point, um, or if you've got two options in the lane, either you can go straight on or right, it thinks that on the well, the sat nav thinks that you can only go right, and it tells you to change lane, as you can see. Even though I'm perfectly fine in this lane, but when you change lane, you have to get straight back into this lane that I'm in here to go right down here. So it's a bit confusing the sat nav. I mean, look, there you go. So there are some parts of it that they've still got to improve in the sat nav. I mean, it would be nice to have it talking in sat nav, but I've always said that with Euro Truck and American Truck and now this. It'd be great to have a talking sat nav. It may annoy the passenger that's sitting there, but <laughs> I, th I just think it'd be really nice to do that. But it feels wintry, doesn't it? I mean, the thing. The other thing that's great about this, over something like Euro Truck, is that it's got the seasons built in, and as you can see, the leaves are all brown over there, there's no leaves on that tree, I mean it's correct for the seasons, all the seasons are really nice, I mean it's 6 o'clock and it's dark, I know it's raining but it is dark, I'm having to turn the lights on, but it just feels correct, it really, really does, and I really do like that. See how I got a bit closer to him then he just didn't know. But yeah, the seasons are great. I love how um, all the building lighting looks. I think 
that's great. I mean, some of the well, quite a lot. Most of the buildings are copied and pasted. I mean, I was watching their stream, and they said about how um, someone asked about the cities feeling the same, and I totally agree. I mean, some of them are exact. What's going on here? Some of them are exact copies of each other, which I don't like, and you can tell. Now, I'd rather not have the city if it was an exact copy, to be honest. Like, come on. Let's get through these lights. Those ones are quite well timed, but the rest of them, they really are awful. I'm just going to speed up here and get through. I believe that's a left only, yeah. Behind the taxis, cream taxis everywhere. It's the colour of the taxis in Germany. Come on. Don't know why, but most of them are Mercedes. That one does look like a Lexus, or a Lexus GS or something. I mean, here we go, the sound again. It's telling me to get in the other lane. However, I'm fine in this lane. I can go straight on, and then I would have had to cut into this lane if I would have listened to it. But you could argue that's realistic for a sat nav. They're always not 100%. We're we not too far away from the. Uh, the bus station now, it's just around there by the train station, which is actually quite a realistic uh, thing. This, I mean, just look at the reflections on the floor. I mean, go external, just look at that, it's awesome. Right, so here we are at pick up all the passengers are out there, it looks pretty dark. Turn the lights on a bit more. Can we make this one turn though? Uh, oops. Got your coach driver here. Just trying to get my lights right. It seems to be bright now. Right, let's get a bit close to the curb. Um, let's lower it. Moving forward. Uh, let's put the brake on. Then we can sort out the heater settings so they don't get moaning. Hello, let's turn that on. Willkommen bei Flixbus. Wir freuen uns, dass wir an Bord sind und wir gemeinsam unser heutiges Reiseziel ansteuern. Let's turn that on. Bevor wir richtig in Fahrt kommen, hier ein paar Hinweise. Okay then. So we turn that on. Let's turn that on. Um, let's turn Hallo, that back on. Willkommen bei Flixbus. Wir freuen uns, dass ihr an Bord seid und wir gemeinsam unser heutiges Reiseziel. Yeah, ziehen. okay. Oh, you're a bit close. Move out of the way. Hello, man, take it. Right, let's log in. It should be all okay now, so... Uh, Ach, let's scan in. Ja oh, the wrong one. Well done. <laughs> um, so let's check where we're going again. So we're going to Pader, Paderborn. Moin, ich hoffe, ich sehe Freunde. Okay. Hallo, das Ticket. Bitte schön. Uh, Paderborn. Ciao. There you go. Hi, das Ticket. Bitte schön. Paderborn, cool. that seems okay. Mahlzeit, mein Ticket. Paderborn. Vielen Dank. I'm probably said it wrong. Hello, bin ich hier richtig? Yeah. Danke sehr. Sure right? Bin ich hier richtig? Uh, yeah. Vielen Dank. Hello, hier mein Ticket. So we have got to pick up quite a few people. Um, Danke. Danke. Mahlzeit, hier ist mein Ticket. Paderborn. Danke. Hi, Sie wollen bestimmt mein Ticket sehen. Express. Sehr freundlich. Hello, my ticket. Um, okay, to do what you called. Uh, Melody, Merck. Danke sehr. Yeah. Servus, Sie wollen bestimmt mein Ticket sehen. Yara, where are you? Oh, yeah. geht's. Hi, Sie wollen bestimmt I mein Ticket sehen. I don't like to just scan it. I find that it's a bit, I don't know, a bit pointless if you do it so Auf quickly. Geht's. Mahlzeit, bin ich hier richtig? Linus. Danke. There we go. Tag, ich hoffe, ich bin hier richtig. Raphael, cool. yeah. My side, my ticket. Laura, not Lona, Lona, Luna. Danke. Right. Danke, aber ich fahre gerne. Moin, das ist gut. Bitte schön. Jesse, cool. you're here. Uh, so, what about you? Ticket, bitte schön. You must be Melissa. So Wir yes, fahren. let's put that down. Let's just close that door. You've got to wait here in the. Oh, why is it raining in here? You've got to wait here under the shelter, even though it's raining. Um, but yeah, it does look pretty cool, this bus. I mean, I do like it. Um, let's get a photo. Like that. Now, I just love all the green and how the rain comes on it. If you pass you 
Make sure you're listening to the um the announcer, but don't be on like YouTube watching Simulators or anything, make sure you listen, go on, phone away, I know Simulators, I know you subscribe and everything. For more information, simply visit flixbus.com or get in touch with us on Facebook. Of course, we're always striving to improve our service. Please use the questionnaire we send you by email to give us feedback about right then, so, wipers are on. I think we look good to go. We are always ready Let's to finish. And now we can finally set off. Right, so that's okay. We Toilets are on. And enjoy uh, I don't know what that button is. Can we press that button? Um, no, I don't think we can. Right, I think we're ready to go. Brake off. Aircon's on. Hang on, gotta click start drive. Okay, we're three minutes late, so we're gonna get told off and penalised for that later on. <laughs> oh well, let's see if we can get out of here. Oh my god, what's going on with this traffic? Oh, wow, look at that lighting on that building, like that yellowy lighting. That looks almost real. I'm not even joking. Oh, what a earth is going on. How are we going to get out of that? Right, so I've somehow got around the island. I did get a um, sort of light accident thing, but this traffic isn't actually moving anymore. Um, yeah, there we go. There's another one. I'm going to get pinwise for that as well. I mean, I don't know. How does that even work? What's going on? But the lighting is great, but... That's the thing about this game. The reason I stopped playing it was I thought, um, I don't know, the AI was ruining my experience, and then here we are again. It's happening all over again. That's why I stopped playing it. It is very enjoyable to play, but the AI, just the way it spawns in, back there it's totally blocked, and it completely ruins the game because then you get pinwise at the end, and it's just annoying. It really, really is. I just really hope they fix it <coughs> someday, right? Here we go. We still want to get out of this traffic, right? Apparently, we can go now. But yeah, we'll see if we can get out of here properly. Let me just look at this building. I've turned the traffic density down, it's now on 68%. So it shouldn't be too bad, but. Come on! This is my point. They just stop. Yeah, what, what's going on? I know it is difficult to write AI and they did admit um, that on the stream that I watched. Well, that was a bit closer than I would have liked. Yeah, they did admit that, they were like, yeah, we are working on that, we know it's ruining the experience and everything, but they, they said they were working on it, so I hope, I really hope they do get it done quickly, or at least a little bit better quickly, because at the moment, it's put me off the game, it really is, I really want to like it, but I just, I don't know. Right, so I've just somehow got out of there. I, I was just speeding the way through the traffic lights because I, I, I just had enough of that. I somehow made it through slaloming through the traffic. Look at that, when I turn that one on, I can see the rain. That off, I can't see it. It's weird. I don't know if that's full beam or not. I don't know. Is that full beam? It looks it, it looks a bit bright. Yeah, it's full beam. And then that one's the one with fog light on at the back. I think that's right, but with that I can see the rain, that I can't. How unusual. Right then, so I think we're finally getting out of Cologne. I believe this is the last traffic light and we've missed it. Great, really is. Probably ran out of fuel by now. Check um, fuel level. Where is that? Where is it? Where is the fuel level? Is it five or six? Um, I don't know where it says to fuel. I don't know. Maybe it's the end one. I think we're nearly full anyway. But yeah, just how annoying that was.
I mean, it's taken me half an hour in game just to get out of there. We still got 250 kilometers to do to get to uh, Paderborn. How do you say it? But yeah, there have been, as I said, a few updates since uh, I last played it about a month ago. Uh, one of which is that now you have to take breaks um, at rest areas or fuel stations or service stations. Um, speed up a second. So when you um, get, or when you're on the highway, the passengers will say something like, can we take a break or something. You have to pull in at the service station um, and then you have to turn off your engine. Come on. Quite hard to see. You have to turn off your engine. Oh, let's slow down a bit. I can hardly see a thing. Turn off your engine and then uh, open all the doors so the passengers I believe can get out. Which is um, which is nice. Look at me out. No, it's not going that lane. Don't want to get to Frankfurt today. But yeah, it's weird how with that you can't see the rain, but with that it's like a... I don't know, it's weird. But yeah, that's a cool feature that they've added. But look all this vegetation, how watery it looks. That looks really detailed and nice. It's just, it is weird, this game. There's some great, great parts of it. Like, as I said, the seasons and... Whoa, we're going to be quick. Seasons, and then you've got... Just the detail of the coach, the sounds, the audio, the weather, graphics. But then you got the bad things like the timing, like that. That, for example, uh, the timings of the routes, the sat nav, the AI. But it's definitely getting that. I, I'm gonna say within about 14 months, this game. It's going to be pretty good. By next Christmas, this game hopefully will be pretty good. Aeros, not Aerosoft. Whoa, I'm going to get hit. Like that. Darum soll man sich also anschneiden. I've had about five or six fly accidents today. He saw me then. They just rammed right into me. I didn't see that guy. Yet, when I want to pull out, most of the time they won't let me. Great, but 100 km an hour speed limit down here, so at least we're going to be able to move. I'm sure actually meant to be in this lane, I think. You better off following the sun and road signs, to be honest, they're more accurate than <laughs> the sat now. But the steering, with, without force, whoa, I hate the way it's. So, I'm Audi. I know, I'm no. I know I'm driving like an Audi driver, but it's not my fault. I'd hate the way it does that. That cannot be realistic. Where it road just... Yeah, it's not really okay. It's 80. But just the way it sort of swerves like that. I mean, at night, I cannot see that. The AI know it's there. They're not bothered by the dark, but I am. And I just can't see what's going on. I mean, up. Oh my god. Why is it slowing down? What's all that about? And then it just. the road just completely swerves over. It's mad. It really is. I can turn those lights off. I get better FPS with that. What the heck? I'm not even joking anymore. This is just mad. I had to swerve so hard then. Then they're stopping in the middle of the road, changing lanes. The roads are laid out really weirdly, so suddenly you go in, in a straight line, then you're swerving over. Jetzt habe ich meinen Kaffee verschüttet. Now it's gone. Now this guy is attached to me. Like a magnet. I'm not even joking. This game has got a lot of work to be done on it. Because currently, 
I could go as far as saying it's an unplayable. I mean, you saw that. There's no point looking at your mirrors, to be honest. TML Studios said, or seem like they're really interested in uh, working on this game. They should have released it as an early access instead of a full release. I mean, it's not completed. You can say what you like, but it's not completed. Um, but yeah, I've hardly done anything wrong, really. And I'm just coming away from playing this game as feeling quite annoyed. I shouldn't really, because this is meant to be a relaxing game. Oh, please. Now there's an accident up ahead. Or tell me to pull over. Release. Go on time. Um, but yeah, it would be nice if you guys would put your comments down below. 
below and questions down below and I'll answer them in the next video. But yeah, I would, as I said, I really want to carry on playing this, but I don't know, it's just annoying me. It really is. Um, they are working on it, TML Studios, but it's, I don't know, I'm, I'm sensing it's going to take a while. What I'd rather have done, done is instead of creating a map so big that most of it feels exactly the same. I would have rather them add focus more on the gameplay, the AI, the actual backbone of the game, if you can call it that. Always oh, being pulled over. I mean, that's another great thing about this game. You don't see that in your truck, how people get pulled over like that, but in this you do. Yeah, I, I would have rather of them worked on the backbone of the game first and then focus on the map because no one's really gonna discover it all super quickly, are they? Oops, oh dear. Better not do that, do it 100 kilometers an hour. That'd be bad. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Now what? What is this? Roadworks. It's another good thing that you get these events coming up um, that are unexpected, which is pretty cool. So all the road works here, and these go away, uh, which is a nice thing. So it's different each time that you drive down this road. Again, another thing that Eurotrip doesn't do. That's my thoughts on it and everything, but we're 112 kilometers away. Hopefully, you're, you're, if you're watching, you're going to be joining me on our ATS MP convoy or bases on Sunday. Go and watch the video about that. If you haven't already announced the video, make sure you're all signed up, signed up for that, and you will be featuring on the time lapse the following day once I've edited it all down. Um, but yeah, if you want to be on the video, make sure you go and do that. Just check the, the time. So we got to be there at 9:27. It's currently 8:10. Hopefully, the traffic going into uh, Paderborn isn't too severe. Of course, we're going to be pushing our luck. I mean, we got to do what? kilometers in an hour roughly so we've got to be traveling averaging about probably say about 90 kilometers an hour to get there on time so we better speed up you know but it's been it's not been the best journey and if you're thinking about getting this game you probably would have said, nope, I'm not getting that game <laughs> by now if you watch this video, but I've recorded other videos that have just gone fine. And then, I don't know, when you go to big cities on this game, and then it doesn't really work. As I said, I've turned down the AI, so now they shouldn't spawn as often, it should be massive traffic jams. The reflections on the floor from that, it looks so good, but you would not believe what just happened. I thought that crashed then, and I thought we have to re record that. <laughs> but guess what? Epson, an Epson thing, came up saying, Would you like to install the latest driver for your printer? I'm driving a coach on the Autobahn, you don't. You don't close my app and then tell me I need to update. You should like pop-ups like that shouldn't interrupt a full screen game. And this is getting worse. This is getting worse. I'm um, I think I've done something wrong. This has been a journey from hell. Hopefully all the passengers are still alive back there. Next someone's gonna be sick and then it's gonna go badly wrong. <laughs> I don't know, I'm really to see the results when we finish this. It's probably going to be like 2xp or something. Like awful driving. But yeah. It's only, uh, it's only a bit of fun, these games. 
yeah, hopefully you can join us on the um, on the multiplayer. That'd be a lot of fun meeting you because I think the last one that we did was either for 200 subscribers. No, I don't think it's 200. It may have been 100 subscribers. It's the last one. Last multiplayer that we did together. Now that we got 200 more subscribers, we still got about eight or so people on the 100 subscriber one. Now we got a lot more than that. Hopefully, more of you can join. We can have a big convoy, which should be a lot of fun. But what we're going to do is we're going to do some races. And if you haven't watched the video, we're going this way. Gord's explained in it, so go and watch that before because you do need to sign up if you want to join. If you do want to join, make sure you are subscribed as it is a subscriber convoy to celebrate. And it was to celebrate 250 subscribers, but I've just been so busy recently that that soon escalated to a celebration of 300 subscribers, which is as mad. We passed that on Thursday, which is actually when I'm recording this. But yeah, a massive thank you for helping us reach that milestone. Thank you if you knew, and hopefully you enjoy your hopefully long stay here because I'm not quitting YouTube anytime soon. I just enjoy it so much. I love making videos, I love editing videos, I love recording. I don't love it when my computer crashes, <laughs> like I thought it did back then, but um, yeah, I just find it really fun to. What's going on down here? How many? What's the point of that sign? Two signs right in front of each other, blocking one of them. Just get better and better. It's very dark though, isn't it? It's what, half, 20 to 9 now? It's super dark. I think we're going to be early though. Oh, there. I thought they were on green then. I was like, nope, I'm not moving. I don't want to get rammed. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it seems a bit like Euro Truck. I don't know if it's if the time slows down or something, but it feels like it. When you drive slower, the time goes slower. If you see what I mean, I don't know, but it feels that way. I think I'm gonna turn all my lights on now. I need all the visibility possible. Look at this. It does look cool with the vegetation, though. I have to say. I mean, it looks so realistic and full and I don't know, it looks cool. I have to say though, I can see the leaves changing from green to brown from a distance, like the bushes. I don't know if you can see that. I'll try and show you. Um, there you go, you saw it then. Which is a bit weird. You'd think it'd load it in as all the ground, but it looks like it loads it in on the summer setting. And then things. Oh, it's autumn. Get rid of all my leaves quick <laughs> before he sees it. But in the daytime, that's probably going to be quite bad. But at night, I mean, just look at it driving down this tight country, well, not really tight, but this dark country lane in the through the woods and forests, it looks great, it really does. We are going into sort of the more northern Germany now, which apparently is more flat um, as the TML Studios people said. They said in the south of Germany it's a lot more hilly, and that's reflected in the game, but in the north it's a bit more flat, so. But saying that, I found that in the south of Germany it seems a bit too like bouncy the roads, it seems unrealistic, like the massive drops. I mean that cannot be right. They said they say they've looked at realistic um, sort of data and everything, but to me it just seems a bit weird. I mean it cannot be safe to go up massive hills and everything. Right, slow down a bit. Let's get into this lane. Right, we must be coming into the city. Oh, right, so I've just found the button that turns on my announcer. It's at the bottom right of my steering wheel. I forgot to put that there. Hey, that's my in Blitzer! Yeah. As I said, go 
going well. Just coming in now. Nine kilometers to go. I haven't seen that before. Come on, bus. the city. Now, most of the cities do look like this. They've always got a hotel there and everything. As I said, it looks the same, which is annoying. Even though I haven't been to the city before, I bet it's a carbon copy. TML Studios probably won't admit it. Like, they said on the live stream how that, well, if you're not happy with it, mods can do it. It seems like done this 20,000, I've said this before, they've done this massive map, yet most of it is not unique, which it does annoy me. I mean, I don't want to go around copying cities, it's like the uh, coast to coast map in American Truck, how all the cities are on that, or most of them anyway. I just copied off um, the standard SES ones and placed somewhere else in a different name. It's exactly like this. It's no different. Which is super disappointing. But we are definitely early. They've got to work on the timings. I mean, I've been keeping to the speed limit mostly. <laughs> um, and yeah, it hasn't gone well. I got pulled over by the police, so that should possibly make me late, even though it didn't. And we're at what? 20 minutes early? Horribly. It's not right, is it? Is anyone sitting there? I don't think so. The curtain looks a bit weird. Right, come on, lights. Yay! Let's get going. But it definitely... The atmosphere that the weather gives you is definitely very realistic, so hands off to them for that. But I hate the traffic lights. I've had enough of them. No more traffic lights, please. Lens flare. <laughs> come on. We must be almost there. Yeah. But we're hardly going to get any points for this week. I've been caught speeding a million times. I've been given damage loads of times. I've crashed a million times. The police, fine, probably. Get points reduced for that because apparently I didn't have my lights on or something. Even though I did, <laughs> I don't know. Come on, any time today, lights. There we go. But yeah, please do say if you want me to carry on with the series because even though it's annoying, I, I do enjoy this game. Why would you not enjoy it? It's just so fun nice if it was a UK one, I could probably relate to it a lot more then. But here we are. But yeah, you see this loop at the bottom? That's been copied so many times. Honestly. Nee, wir sind zu früh. Really? Really? Are you French or something? What do you want me to do about it? Right. Parking brake. Lower it. Uh, what, why is the wipers gone off? Right then, so I think uh, we're done. So I'm gonna, just going to turn my indicators on there. Right then, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. That was probably the worst journey of your life, people. Not my fault. Love the way the line comes on here though. Don't know where it's coming from. There? Okay, it's closed the door. Right, so where's this light coming from? Down here. Is it under there? Must be. Kinda cool though. Right, they're all off. Let's open that up. That was just very annoying. So let's see how we did. Let's log out. This is going to be absolutely awful. Ticket sold, zero. Checked in, good. Didn't run out of fuel. 
scheduled arrival, scheduled departure. I know I left three minutes late. Uh, resting quality. Uh, missing pass, <laughs> missing passages. Um, Aircon, 94%. I didn't moan about it. Announcement played, yeah. Right then, so that was okay. That was okay. Properties damage, 6. Didn't injure anyone. Accident, 7, minus 14. I mean, they don't take that many points away. We got caught speeding once, so that's what, minus, minus 21. Uh, driven on road, 72.8%. What? At no point did I go off road. That's stupid. Steering misbehaviour too. I thought I got more than them. Safety distance broken. Fourteen. Speed and limits maintained. Ninety-four percent. That's not right. Four thousand XP. Oh, no, four four hundred sixty-two XP. They're bringing us up to four thousand and twenty-five. So let's um. How do we go back? Right then, so I've somehow got it back on here, but yeah. Bit annoying that. To say the least. But definitely still fun. Let's just turn the lights off here so it looks a bit better. There we go. Um but yeah, if you have enjoyed it <laughs> somehow, uh, please do click the like and won't subscribe for a lot more videos. Well, hopefully a lot more videos to come if you guys still want to see this happening but anyway thank you for watching if you got this far sorry about the uh the things that have happened in this episode hopefully you'll be still watching very soon so thank you and goodbye